Well, let's analyze tyranny, the Zionist tyranny that we are experiencing today. Where did it come from? We know that there were people that were expelled from the Ezrin community. And they were hybrids. But today, we have the Zionists who are worse than hybrids. Some of them <clears throat> don't even have any Semitic uh, genetic traits. But they claim they have a uh, right to uh, possess Israel. And they have a powerful influence over Israel. They're, uh, they're brutal towards their neighbors, the Palestinians and other peoples. And they actually control our Congress in the United States and much of the world uh, political philosophy has been through their subversion through people who really do not have a claim to Israel or have a right to rule over any other government as far as that goes. So, that tells us a little about the tyranny that we are experiencing today. And what can we do about it? I don't think as Christians we could really do much politically. I think our area of influence is in our love for one another and I think a good place for us to start would be building our own communities. And if you visit my uh, site on the internet you'll see I have links to uh, the CLRC Christian community and you don't have to join our community you can develop your own. But I think that we need to do something as groups and not as individuals. This is what has uh, actually hurt America so much is that the Zionist economic control of the United States divided our nation uh, we lost control of our finances, we were brought into wars unnecessarily, and our economy, people were struggling against one another rather than for one another, and now we face uh, fascist uh, corporatism instead of uh, Christian uh, husbandry and a, uh, against a Christian government that influences the world with Christian principles. Now our, our foreign policy is, is Zionist and our uh, policies within the United States are Zionist influenced and we need to get out of this for what little time we have left. If a Christian were to go to Israel he would be persecuted and someday Israel will have I believe people from the genetic tribes uh, and I believe eventually people that will be there will be all believers in Christ and so there has to be some big changes sometime in the future in Israel and throughout the world and as uh, Isaiah 24 speaks of the great destruction uh, I think we're in for some terrible times, but if we live in communities and work together as groups, we can make things better for ourselves, even though we may suffer persecution and uh, political uh, oppression from the Zionists and from the hostility that will probably come from within the United States.